Welcome to Live on the 802. We're here with the executive director of the Deerfield Valley Chamber of Commerce, Eric DeRocher. He's been the director there for two years now, doing an awesome job and bringing a lot of events to the Valley. And he's here to talk to us about them today. Eric, thank you for coming and tell us what you got. So coming up this February, February 21st, Friday, we have our Craft Brew and Chili Stroll in downtown Wilmington. Uh, you're going to be going in and out of the shops on West Main Street to, to taste some delicious beers and chilies from our restaurants. Um, we have Foam Brewers coming. We have The Alchemist coming. We have Switchback. We have Main Beer Company. Just stuff you can't find anywhere. Um, so we're really excited about that coming up this February. February 21st, how many chilies can people expect to see? 15 or more. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All from local restaurants, great beer. Sounds like an event you have to hit. Uh, next, you have the Wine and Harvest Festival, or no, you have the fireworks. Uh, coming up on July 5th, we have our Independence Day fireworks down on Hayford Field in, in Wilmington. Um, you know, live music, great food uh, provided by ourselves and uh, North Star Pizza. Uh, so we're looking, really looking forward to that event this year. Got to check those out. And then there's a golf tournament. In July, July 13th, we have the Quest for the Chamber Chalice. Uh, you know, this will be our third year running this, uh, this golf tournament again. Uh, really expecting a much larger field of players this year. Some really great raffle prizes and, um, you know, some lovely golfing at Mount Snow Golf Course. Well, I know I'll be there because I'm a golfer, love to play the game. Can others get involved or is it just chamber members? Uh, no, absolutely. We, we'd love to have everybody there uh, to enjoy the golf tournament. Obviously, there's sponsorship opportunities. You know, we're going to try to make a whole day out of it. Sounds great. I'll call my uncle, who's an amazing golfer, and invite him to the event. Uh, next, Blueberry Fest. Blueberry Festival. So the last weekend of July, the first weekend of August, actually this year coinciding with Wilmington Old Home Weeks, we have our Deerfield Valley Blueberry Festival. Ten whole days of family-oriented blueberry fun, starting with the blueberry jello slip and slide, um, you know, going into a party up in Dover. Just a ton of great family events over those ten days, uh, all featured around our blueberries. Okay, guys, if you haven't been to the blueberry slip and slide, you have to go. Literally, the blueberry jello dyes your children blue. They look like Smurfs. It's amazing. It's a good time. That's uh -huh. a really great time. And then that, uh, then in October, you have the Wine and Harvest Festival. Uh, so yes, this year we are hosting the Wine and Harvest Festival October 1st through 3rd. Typically it would be that third weekend in September, but we've shifted it a little bit this year. Um, so we're going to be in the beginning of October. You're starting out Friday night with the wine and soup stroll, very similar to the beer and chili stroll, where you're, you're going in and out of those shops and restaurants to taste the wine and, and soup. Um, that's in downtown Wilmington. That's, that's all in downtown Wilmington, you know, over 20 wines, over 20 soups. It's, it's, that's, we're in the 11th year of, of the wine and soup stroll down in downtown Wilmington. Then moving into Saturday, we have the Grand Tasting hosted up at Mount Snow. Um, we are actually in the 12th year of the Grand Tasting. Um, you're talking, you know, around 100 vendors of wine and spirits and beer and, and food and cheese and, and live music. It's, it's a really great event um, and we see that grow every year. And then on Sunday, the 3rd of October, we, we actually helped to sponsor the Wildlife Festival, which is put on by the Southern Vermont Natural History Museum. Um, so they, you know, they use that venue that we have set up up there and, and really get some great um, exposure for, you know, their animals and the, the work that they're doing there. So a couple years ago, I went to the Wildlife Festival and they had, they had a wolf there. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, the wolf, uh, I know they bring some of the birds of prey up there, uh, some of the reptiles and, and things like that. It's, it's a really educational event. It's a great family event to cap off Wine and Harvest Weekend. Yeah, definitely check it out, guys. This is a top 10 chamber event for the state of Vermont. It's all weekend long, a really exciting time, so definitely check that out. Um, so those are some really awesome events coming up, but the Visitor Center is also a place that people have to check out. You have a lot of great things there. Tell us about it. So down at 21 West Main in, in downtown Wilmington, you can stop in and see us at the Visitor Center. We're open seven days a week. Um, you stop in there, you can get trail maps, you can get information on the local businesses, the restaurants, the, the shops. Um, you could stop in and actually pick up a copy of our Visitor's Guide, uh, which comes out twice a year. It's full of all the events, um, you know, through the winter, spring, and then the summer, fall. Um, and then you're going to find information on all the local businesses in there as well. It's a, it's a great piece of literature to pick up. Um, 
So just one of the many things you can get for information down at our building. Great. And is there a website that people can find more information on the events? Yep. So you want to go to www.visitvermont.com. Great. Eric, thank you for coming, sharing all of these great events with us. Check out the Visitor Center. Go to their website and hit up these events, guys. They're all great in their own right. Eric, thanks again. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned. More to come live on the 802. Thank <laughs> you.